coming to the integration testing here uh, nothing but the, like these components they will combine it and they will convert it as a .exe file and after that they will do some testing on that okay means uh, here just uh, read the sentence you will get it once the unit testing is completed developers will integrate all source code units and checks integration among all these units which are called integration testing nothing but they will combine all the single single units to uh, .exe file means if they want to add it they have to add the sequence right yeah one by one they have to add it means mm -hmm. the coordination yes. between one program to other program is correctly integrated or not okay from starting yeah. to ending if you click on something it is going to other page or not and correct page or not okay they will check after integrating the total system once means the coordination between the individual components is correctly integrated or not they are going to check it okay correct yeah. nothing but integration testing okay in this we have some types okay means are you a btec background or otherwise degree background sorry uh, you are belongs to your graduation belongs to oh my graduation i done uh, is in in it it i think uh, you have a subject software testing i think right uh, you forgot it okay no just i can't remember okay, okay. i can't remember okay no issues actually in uh, this integration will be carried out uh, in three approaches actually means big bang mm -hmm. approach and top down approach bottom up uh, bottom down bottom up uh, down approach we have uh, three types of these things uh, means you don't need to uh, much concentrate on those things because you are not going to uh, do anything inside the, the things but you have to get an idea big bang approach is nothing much just read here this approach is recommended when all source code units are available and unit tested in this approach all source code units will be combined together as a larger system nothing but what they will do it should be successfully means if you want to go for integration testing every individual component should be executed successfully okay if it is successfully executed right, yeah. only it will be forwarded to, to the next stage of integration right in that big bang approach right. these are the prerequisites to go for big bang approach what they will do means first they will uh, uh, means are uh, integrated after that they will see the integration between the components okay means connecting integration testing and defects are encountered finding the root cause of the effect will be because difficult to task means this is a drawback of big bang approach means if you go with the good big bang approach it is not possible to find the defects in a sequential way because see here unit 1 unit 2 unit 2 to unit 3 okay it has ended up to here next one unit 1 to unit 3 is one test case nothing but is this other uh, relation between unit 1 to unit 3 after that unit 1 to unit 2 unit 2 to unit 4 means the, it is a zigzag manner right means if you want to check if you want to find that particular defect where it has going or where it is redirect, redirecting it is very difficult to integrate and very difficult to find that particular defects but for validating it takes less time means for checking the things for cross checking it will take less time but for finding the defects it will take much more time okay in a sequential way like that they are going to integrate it but whatever the situation the output will come uh, in a faster manner but while you are facing the difficulties or other right defects to finding that is very difficult to go, to approach this particular process if you go with the, this pro, this approach it will be very difficult to find the defect this is the drawback of this approach means integration can be done in three ways means this is the integration testing is done in three ways one of the way is big bang approach i am discussing about that in big bang approach this is the procedure they will follow okay what is the drawback of that approach means yeah Finding defects the is, is like uh, finding a defect is very, very difficult. difficult, but the integration will be integration will be uh, very. very uh, yeah. That is the thing. This top down approach. Next approach is top down approach. Top down approach is nothing but main program. That is the main program under that sub uh, means call sub one sub two. These are the sub procedures. Nothing but functions or procedures. Okay, these are the function subs and after under that we have functions under that means like this the procedure top down approach first main program will be there under that means everything you just you will think that if you take any project under that modules will be there 
under modules you have single single requirements are there under the single single requirements we have lot many sub requirements are there right mm -hmm. like yeah. that only in in a project if you take the gmail total gmail just take the example as main program as gmail under that gmail we have lot many sub uh, sub things right like uh, launching login compose mail sending mail and we have lot many things right for that they have to develop yeah. the code if, if they want to develop the code they have to divide the things like this in, in an individual manner okay means every small code is called as a stub every small program okay it says means here see that function 1 procedure 1 function 2 procedure 2 these are the internal code right okay this procedure yeah. one code has completed the function two ha coding has completed procedure two coding has completed but function one code has not completed still they want to check still they want to integrate that means some part of the project has uh, source code implementation has not done it mm -hmm. okay still they want to integrate yeah. it they want to execute the program means they will uh, put a dummy code in the place of function one as a stub that is called stub and they will execute the program you got the point okay. yeah see that first main program and sub one tested second sub one and procedure one tested next main program and sub two tested next sub two and function two tested next sub two and procedure two tested means this is the way they will go in a sequential way means main program they will go in this way first it is if it is completed then go for sub two like that they will test one by one after dividing the modules okay yeah you got it right any confusion in this no so when uh, for function 1 is incomplete at the moment but uh, when when function 1 will be in a complete stage mm. then don't they need to do the uh, like uh, testing again for everything they will do once again but after after completion of the particular fun function code at the time uh, function one code after implementing the code in the place of dummy code they will put the original code over there they will test it test it once again but they are cross checking means it one shot uh, means if you are going to uh, integrate all the things at one shot if you test that it is very difficult right just yeah. uh, means it is very difficult to integrate it is very difficult to, to test also at the point of time they will what they will do is they will integrate the part in individual ways and after that they will do in a sequential manner got it in Anybody? terms of test in terms of testing like they will uh, they will do the yes yes source code testing that is source code testing means we are discussing social thing about white box testing related internal white box testing, testing what the developers are doing inside that we are discussing now okay Okay, these are the things. Incomplete code will be there sometimes because at that point of time, what they will do means simply they will uh, put a print statement or message statement that it is executing successfully. Otherwise, it is function one code. Okay, they will put a message in that particular code will point of time and they will execute the program. After executing the program, if it is executing successfully, then they will, after implementation of function one code, they will copy that code into that particular phase and that they will execute one more time. And they will test it is that particular okay. output is coming or not okay? okay this see this this is the approach recommended if there is there are any incomplete programs at the bottom level okay means it is only suggested mm -hmm. top down approach is suggested when the uh, initial last programs nothing but individual yeah. code is not yeah. completed means if they left with some other programs but they want to test it uh, at any cost at that point of time they used stubs correct no. that is called top down approach okay yeah that's fine yeah. let's see here in this approach integration testing will be carried out from top to bottom okay the uncompleted programs at bottom level will be replaced with the stubs okay the le uh, bottom level functions are initial uh, things they will call as stubs means they will start the testing from main program to the individual programs this is called top down approach right. one by one first main program then they will go for sub programs then they will go for individual programs it is nothing but top to down right we are going from top to down that is called top down approach in a simple correct way. yes okay next 
stub sub the exact statement if you want to uh, deliver in front of the interviewer this is the thing you have to tell a simulated program that replaces a called program is called a stub mm -hmm. you got it any confusion in that statement no that's fine yes next bottom up approach nothing but it's a reverse of top down approach from bottom to the up nothing but from the single single components to the main program yeah okay the reverse thing this approach is recommended where there are incomplete programs at top level top level is nothing but in main program incomplete code in the main program to to integrate all sub programs you have to write one more uh, program right main program means like uh, yeah. like in testing driver script will come into a picture means uh, i think you listen or not i don't know keyword driven framework you listen this term do you listen this term sorry keyword, keyword driven framework otherwise hybrid driven keyword driven in in auto i heard about hybrid yes i heard hybrid hybrid but, is uh, nothing but the combination uh, of data driven framework and keyword driven framework okay Mm -hmm. uh, but means actually what is hybrid means any combination of any two uh, frameworks or two or three frameworks that is called hybrid actually in the market now the exact combination or good combination is keyword and data driven that is the best combination for hybrid sorry can you repeat actually hybrid framework is nothing but the combination of any two or three frameworks depends upon the situation but nowadays okay. the best combination are exactly in the market they are using the combination of keyword driven and uh, data driven okay the combination of uh, data, data driven and uh, keyword driven is now they are using it as a hybrid framework and uh, what, what is this framework for what, what do they use this framework for we will discuss in automation okay it will take much more time to okay. tell you in a single line it is not no possible to explain okay no problem i uh, it's okay <laughs> because it will bounce now means manual testing will get bounced no, no, I, go to the topic no 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 absolutely yeah. <laughs> we don't want to uh, uh, yeah. creating things yes exactly. okay difficulties while understanding the situation okay just after that, uh, <laughs> this is called driver the main program if you are in the place of main program if you put some dummy program that is called driver if you in a in a in a single program means nothing but in an individual program if you put dummy code that is called stub nothing but incompleted small program is called as a stub incompleted main program is called as a driver in simple words for your understanding i am saying okay the exact definition is a simulated program that replaces a column program is called driver okay simulated means nothing but simulated environment means what is the meaning of simulated here that what is the exact english meaning translation simulated a simulated program simulated means right. dummy right means simulated yeah i was about to say virtual uh, virtual nothing but dummy or virtual whatever it means okay means virtual thing will come into picture means here the exact code is not there in place of the exact code yeah. we replace it with some other code which exactly works okay that is not exact code actually okay for that situation we are sort of like a print sorry we are we are pretending as if like this this yes, particular exactly. uh, yes, main exactly. mm. yeah pretending but pretending is used for only for particular few months right like that this is nothing but in programming wise it is uh, called as a driver in technical terms it is called as a driver just remember like that driver okay this yeah. is the thing next sandwich approach this is the nothing main program means they will use in sandwich approach they may use drivers and stubs also they will use combination also means if you use only driver that is called bottom up means in bottom up approach only we are going to use only drivers in top down approach we are going to use only stubs okay if you go for sandwich approach it's a combination where we are going to use stub we don't know where we are going to use driver we know we don't know depends upon the situation we have to Uh, call the particular simulated programs mm -hmm. okay this yeah. approach combines the top down and bottom up approaches the combination bottom of top down and bottom up is called as sandwich approach okay this is best suitable when the middle level programs are not implemented 
okay then they are going to use sandwich approach when the uh, means inside individual programs are not implemented at that point of time they will use a uh, top down approach okay if the main program is not implemented the best way of going integration is nothing but bottom up approach means in this particular uh, white box testing they will do code coverage also means code coverage is nothing but uh, the percentage of code testing during white box testing is called code coverage code coverage is nothing but in 1000 lines of code if, if you have 1000 lines of code are you testing 1000 lines of code or not every line should be tested because sometimes why how the particular uh, means you are question in your mind i think uh, one question has generated what is that if you are executing a one program automatically all the statements will execute again why we have to check individually the code coverage right yeah why means if you are going for if conditions or looping conditions okay means if the uh, if you go for if condition means if the particular condition is satisfied it will execute some set of the statements okay if it is not satisfied it will execute other set of statements right yeah if and else yes at that point of time some set of statements will be uh, skipped at that point of time while executing the particular program got it yeah i mean if uh, yeah i got it because if if uh, if the condition will satisfy Mm -hmm. and if it will not go to the else part of it yes or if the if the cut is right then it will it will uh, it will be only else part. else parts right at that point of the time the particular uh, set of statements will be skipped uh, while executing a particular program for that also we have to test in a negative way means we have to cover that else part also we have to cover that if part also means what if what means we have to test with uh, correct condition once and after that we have to test with uh means uh, incorrect uh, condition mm -hmm. right we have to do in it uh, means likewise we have to cover the total code execution that is called total code coverage over here okay means see yeah. here okay. example in 100 lines of code loc means lines of code if 80 lines of the code tested that is called code coverage is 80% like that how much percentage it should be 100% code coverage needed while you are executing the program okay means these are the models uh, what they are going to use in this particular in integration testing means in white box testing integration what is integration testing is one of the testing in integration testing we have models like this big bang approach top down and bottom up approach 